48 seconds for two logos, both of them telling you it's Disney. Because God forbid you mix this up with a Pixar movie. Nobody was talking to you, Luxo Jr. Get back in your cage. Man, that's weird. Look at that rendering. The detail of all those Twitter users on the screen. Uh-oh, the princess is trapped. Oh, sh I was half expecting Andy's voice here, with some sort of snowman toy getting into a classic unnecessary Woody Buzz adventure. No need for a candle, Dad. We're shining from the magical moonlight beaming through our window and illuminating this moment of love and sisterly friendship. Those of air, of fire, of water. Why does a horse represent water? I haven't been this confused since I went to that Alabama Crimson Tide game and saw that their mascot was an elephant. They were attacking us. Later we're gonna find out that the Nartholdra were innocent and that it's all the Arendellians who attack. But during this entire sequence leading up to the surprise attack, I don't see any of these soldiers carrying swords or even have sheaths to put them in. Whoever saved you, I love them. <laughs> that person turns out to be your mom and I'm not quite sure why it's kept a secret. Yes, she is Nartholdran and that could be a scandal, but they could simply leave that part out. Just say she was at the damn celebration party. I'm pretty sure we covered this in the first Frozen video, but I'm still mad that Anna and Elsa share a room in this huge f***ing castle. The lyrics to this song say, Dive down deep into her sound, but not too far or you'll be drowned. This is about a river that tells you secrets. Why does the river impose limits on your knowledge? This river sounds like an asshole. Also, lyrics probably could include, yet even if too deep they go, Disney will not let death be so. Fear not, kids, they all return. True emotion never earned. Your Majesty. Oh. Does this happen every time Elsa is startled? What happens when Elsa is watching porn and Anna comes crashing through the door asking to build a snowman? What is a vagina's estimated thawing time? How I wish this could last forever. Mm. And yet change mocks us with her beauty. Emoloff. Either Anna and Olaf decided to walk through this house frame while these guys were working, or these guys started putting up the frame while Anna and Olaf were walking through it. I choose to believe everyone is a dick here. This guy chops down the tree in one swing with this tiny axe. And the guy painting it, did he really not see that dude walk up to it to cut it down? Things happen at an extraordinary pace in this town. So here's that store owner who had his shop in the woods in the last movie. Now he's moved to Arendelle but can apparently only afford a kiosk. It feels like he was in the forest for convenience in the first movie and now he's here for fan service in the second one. <laughs> Kristoff is such an immature bastard. I mean, using Olaf as a prop in front of his girlfriend. Will this guy ever learn? Olaf is a dick to fishermen. Also, I don't care if everyone is stuck with musical disease, no one would trust Olaf with a fish. So really, it's on them. Here the song goes, and I promise you the flag of Arendelle will always fly, our flag will always fly, and holy what is this song? We started with love never changing despite seasons changing and now we're doing some sort of Pledge of Allegiance flag worship? Is it too soon to hate this movie? Arendelle treats their queen like a birthday party clown. Sure, maybe they have pre-existing rules that limit Elsa from using her snow powers to make shapes, but we just watched Olaf distort himself to make the exact shapes he needed. So flurry up some snow and let's get this party going. <sighs> this is gonna happen a lot, isn't it? Also, you know what, voice? Maybe you should give better instructions than this, and Elsa would come find you sooner. Elsa sings to the voice that she needs to ignore its whispers, and I'm just throwing it out there. A voice that can be heard from the distance she's hearing is more than a whisper. F*** you, poetry. At this point, Elsa sings, I've had my adventures. I don't need something new. And I'm guessing that saying is engraved on plaques hanging around Disney's headquarters. Elsa belts out into the unknown, and do you think the village is totally okay with the queen who screams sings into the dead of night? I mean, f*** their sleepy time right up, Elsa. This world is supposed to be set in our world, so realistically, this would play out with someone stepping outside and screaming, what the f*** is that? And then their spouse yells from inside the house, honey, what is it? And then they go, floating diamonds are filling the air. And then the neighbor's light comes on and they yell out the window, shut up, it's a work night. Man, I'd be so good at writing kids' movies. The air rages, no fire, no water. The earth is next. We have to get out. Get out to where? Earth is everywhere you plan to stand, so you are f also, it's weird to me that the different elements chose different paths to express this message. The water and fire in the town disappeared, but the air went full bore. And all these things happened at the same time, but the earth waits to do whatever it's going to do. It's being very polite during an impending disaster. We find out that the elementals are pushing the people out of their home to help them avoid being killed later by rushing waters. But we also find out that the elements are pissed because of an injustice to the Northaldron people at the hands of the Arendelle assholes. So I'm confused why the elements would suddenly appear to help anyone at all. And thank the elemental gods that everyone woke up up fully dressed and able to flee into the night while remaining decent for the little eyes in the audience. It'll be okay! Evacuate to the cliffs! I figure if I just tell this one family, everybody in town will know what to do. That should work. After all, I can shoot ice out of my hands. Yes, everyone's out and safe. Here, take one of these. Good to know that Sven had the foresight to stop at the bedroll store on his mad dash out of the city. You've been hearing a voice and you didn't think to tell me? He didn't want to worry you. Well, it's not the exact words. This is pretty much the I didn't tell you so I could protect you cliche. Just tell me what's going on. I woke the magical spirits of the enchanted forest. 
That's right, children, the power of singing a song from your imagination has awoken angry elemental spirits. Let this be a lesson to all of us that singing is forbidden. Also, why is it taking so long for the voice to call out to her? All the went down in the forest like 20 years ago, but it took until just now for the voice to try and call Elsa. I hope you're prepared for what you have done, Elsa. All she did was sing a song, an original song with vocals by the incomparable Adele Dazeem. And sure, she belted it, but all she did was ask questions in the song and told the voice that she was going to ignore it. I don't know why the song itself made the spirits mad, but it took them forever and an Oscar-nominated song to wake up. A wrong demands to be righted. In this troll's prophecy, why does an image from the Florida Project show up? I won't let anything happen to her. Unkeepable promises. They're both asleep. So, what do you want to do? I'd remove all the sins from every movie and retire if Anna and Kristoff turned this into a hardcore sex film right now. Whoa, wait a minute. Did Elsa just run down this steep cliff without any use of her powers? That's a pretty steep cliff, right? Can you just run like Laura Ingalls Wilder down a cliff like that? Good to know Gamork is still terrifying children everywhere. Also, where the f*** is Olaf right now? The angry red eyes never reappear and reveal themselves to be anything plot related, so this moment is designed solely to terrify children. Part of me wants to give a sin off for this, but the other part of me is super disappointed not to see horribly evil creatures devour Olaf and then watch him reconstitute as a snowman after being pooped out. Look, I understand the spirits being pissed, but I'm not sure how Elsa is supposed to make things right if you're going to be a dick the whole time. Maybe use your wind power to write a message in the leaves. Why is this so complicated? They look like moments in time. Yeah, when I see a bunch of ice sculptures that came out of destroying a tornado with ice, that's exactly where my head went to. Oh, looks like Anna and Elsa's parents forgot to check the privacy settings on their memories frozen in time. Well, at least they have their parents. Their parents are dead. Man, this Olaf recaps the first Frozen movie part is probably the best thing about Frozen 2. I will duly remove a sin. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is like watching my cats chase after the red laser dot. So it turns out that the fire spirit is a cute lizard. That makes sense. Animation is so good these days, you can barely see the strings of the merchandising department during these scenes. Somebody's calling us. Who is it? A question this movie will fail to answer, leaving many fan theories that I have explored in great detail. Is it Elsa's mother's voice? Is it the fifth spirit? Was Elsa's mother the fifth spirit before leaving the woods? Did nature reward her with a magical child to hear the call when she gained her full power? Then she returned to her magic source to become the new fifth spirit? No real answers given, but lots more high-pitched calls to come. It's a lose-lose, really. Look, I'm all for pretty magic sh** happening, but who is making this place light up? Can the air spirit make ice statues, leaves, and Olaf glow with the power of familial revelation? How does that make any sense? We are the people of the sun. It's coming back around again! This is for the people of the sun! But look, there's a fifth spirit. We would say element, but that is owned by the Sony company. And this is not a ripoff of that at all. <laughs> oh yes, because barely crouching behind this tiny boulder is going to hide you from a stone giant whose gaze is 25 feet tall. <sighs> this is why we don't play with fire. This has been your friendly Olaf PSA. Be sure to pick up your frozen theme fire extinguisher on the way out of the theater. Uh, you coming with? I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll meet you there. Okay. Uh... You know where you're going. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. I know the woods. You know the woods of the enchanted forest that you just arrived in last night? At this point, Kristoff sings the song Lost in the Woods, and I have really no other sin than movie has time for this. It's a decent song with fairly amusing visuals, but it really doesn't mean much to the movie at all. Kristoff and Anna have had a couple minor misunderstandings. Does anyone really think their relationship is in danger? Also, try singing this song without lapsing into Chicago's You're the Inspiration during certain moments of it. And I'm sure whoever wrote this song is probably like, yeah, totally, that's what we were going for. Good job. But I still feel like it. Hey, Gil's back! This face wind spirit is about to give Elsa a clue about where to go next, and I'm wondering what took it so long. Every Arendellian ship has a, a compartment. Waterproof. That's very clever. You said convenient incorrectly. Water has memory. Look, I know that in a previous scene, Elsa beat up a tornado with her ice and it produced moments in time ice sculptures, but I didn't realize she suddenly learned the skill. And not only is she getting the memories... <laughs> She's getting the audio from the past? Elsa! What else did she think she would find? A water memory of them sitting happily together drinking tea? They drown, and she's lucky the image wasn't of them scratching at their throats for a last gasp of air. Their faces twisted in horror. In this moment when the sisters are about to part ways and the feeling of death looms, can we talk about Anna's hair? How is it braided like this? Braids start at the sides of her hair and intertwine in the back in this seamless way, but where does the tail of the braid go? The fact that the hair looks perfect after all these adventures is a sin in and of itself, but this infinity braid is infuriating. Sure, at me with those hair tutorials all you want, they'll look like 
compared to this impossible braid. What are you doing? Elsa builds an ice boat and provides a long slope of ice to keep Anna away from her. But damn, couldn't this end in Anna's death? This thing is going faster than a skeleton bobsled and it's going through unfamiliar terrain. Also, earlier it looked like using her powers to put out the fire was really exhausting to her. But now she's made an ice boat and a league-long flume with a teehee and toot. I don't know how this stone giant lies down on his back with his nose just above water, but this cannot be comfortable. So now we have a murdering water horse? I guess part of the story is that every element attempts to kill you and then you prove your dominance over it by power flexing, thus proving your worthiness to advance to out of blah, blah, blah. But then what about the stone giants? She doesn't have to do anything with them to prove her power. <laughs> Yee-haw! Of course. Glaciers are rivers of ice. Otto Holland is frozen. Weird they don't mention that in the song, though. Otto Holland is a Northaldron word for Fortress of Solitude. Looking at the way Elsa moves through Otto Holland with her powers, I'm wondering how anyone who is not the Ice Queen gets to go to this place and learn secrets. Is that the point? Only Elsa could ever visit this place? How is there a song about it if no one's ever been here? Was someone else Commander Ice in the past? I'm beginning to think this river of secrets is an asshole. But of course, this moment feels so powerful with the imagery and music and message of stepping into your power, but really, what the f*** is going on? Elsa has been called by the Fifth Spirit, but is also the Fifth Spirit. Is she possessed? <laughs> Why is Elsa embarrassed by such a powerful moment in her life? Let it go represents breaking free from the expectations of her parents and embracing her powers even unto isolation. This would be a proud power ballad, not something to be cringing about. Disney playing at this song's annoyance is ridiculous. Parents may be cringing because their children have been singing it endlessly for years, but Elsa wouldn't be. Elsa is now in the magic place where the memories are and begins to learn all the things she needs to know. But I don't understand why she couldn't do the ice memory thing in the Enchanted Forest and get the same answers. She was able to see memories in the forest and conjured them up on her parents' boat, complete with audio. Magic makes people feel too powerful, too entitled. It makes them think they can defy the will of a king. That is not what magic does. That's just your fear. That's right, Elsa. Give that ice memory of your grandfather a piece of your mind. Change that dead f with your words. You see, the dam will weaken their lands, so they will have to turn to me. Why is this dickhead memory collage making Elsa have to chase after it to learn the truth? I know the song warns about going too far or you'll be drunk, but I don't understand what controls what information Elsa gets to hear when I'm going too far. These memories are like, f you if you want to know more. If you want to know more, go watch Starship Troopers. <laughs> If she's in a spot where she's feeling cold for the very first time in her life and is about to freeze to death, how does she still have any power? Wow, Elsa was able to shoot the memory to Anna wherever she was. That's convenient, even for magic. It's like we're supposed to believe Elsa knows and commands her entire power arsenal whenever the plot demands it. The dam wasn't a gift of peace. It was a trick. Man, think of how long this took to build a dam that size. All to trick the Nertholdra and slaughter their people in a surprise attack anyway. Like, the two peoples already had a friendly relationship. We could have surprise attacked at any time and accomplished the same goal. I'm flurrying away. Man, Disney just can't quit that snap effect from Infinity War. I'm sure Olaf wasting away here will have the same impact as the vanishings in that movie, which is to say, none. Magic redistributes the snow from Olaf and puts it in a neat pile somewhere near the waterfall, which is significant because it will have no bearing whatsoever on how he comes back to life later in the movie. Also, allow me to ask this morbid question. Why doesn't his snow vanish? If Elsa's magic isn't holding him together anymore, all these snow bits should dissolve in the waterfall cave and be lost forever. Olaf. Elsa. What do I do now? Probably get out of the cave, but I'm not dead, so what do I know about giving advice in a moment like this? This jump looks too damn far for anybody. Even Mike Powell is looking at this jump and going, nuh-uh. So that's the end of the song, The Next Right Thing, and Anna's Next Right Thing will be managing to scale down this cliff. That will be interesting to watch, but we're just skipping over that important progress, eh? Okay. The dam must fall. It's the only way to break the mist and free the forest. Oh. Seems like she could have told these dudes about this before she made a damn fool of herself trying to get the giants to smash the dam. But when you have a history where you were going to marry a damn dude after knowing him for one damn day, I guess your strongest trait is an impulse control. Damn. King Runard betrayed everyone. How do you know that? My sister gave her life for the truth. Oh, okay, so we should definitely break that dam then based on that evidence. Frozen 2 throws a massive heap of bullshit on top of this dam sequence. It is whispered that bull is sometimes known as the sixth spirit. It's an owl for some reason. I don't know why destroying the dam means that Elsa gets to live since the two things aren't related. The song clearly stated if you went too far you'd drown. Didn't say if the information you received during this quest leads to you solving your problem will release you from the curse. The water with memory and the situation between Arendelle and Northuldra are completely separate things. Yeah, f that town up. Oh, 
How did Elsa and the murder pony get to Arendelle in time? The dam breaks and the elemental beacon lights up the sky while Elsa is here. Meaning Elsa had to travel from up here all the way down past the damn waters. Down to Arendelle in a matter of seconds to save the city. OP. Honestly, we don't know why the water spirit can't stop the water from crashing into Arendelle, but I guess Elsa hasn't learned water horse spirit language yet to tell it what to do, so I guess it can be forgiven. I'm still sending it. So I guess f all that magical water. We don't care that it didn't disperse and change the shoreline an inch. I guess Elsa can also mass evaporate water now. And honestly, I fully believe she's a goddess now. God damn it, get out the f***ing map again! Elsa's running toward Anna here, my question is, why the f wouldn't she be running up from the gorge considering she was just down here? In a matter of seconds, did she travel all the way out around this landmass to circle back to the cove to dramatically reconnect with her sister? Probably! Elsa's a goddess now and must go for mass impact. Arendelle did not fall. The spirits all agree. Arendelle deserves to stand with you. Also, I prevented the water from flooding Arendelle with my magic eyes, but yeah. The spirits were in firm agreement that it should stand after I did that. You are the fifth spirit. You know, ice! Completely different than water. You know how it goes? Earth, wind, fire, water, and ice. Ice is the universal bring everything together element. Well, actually, a bridge has two sides. And Mother had two daughters. Oh, so this totally explains how the fifth spirit thing worked before Elsa or Anna were born. Anna, you are the most extraordinary person I've ever known. Dude, Elsa is right there. That's rude. You can look at our photograph while I'm gone. <laughs> Movie makes it seem like the still young Matthias is still going to be attracted to the now much older Halima. And Movie might be right, but I'm a cynical person who doesn't believe that <laughs> This reminds me that I have so many questions about the parents. What's in them all? Did Kid Mom grow up in the palace? Did anyone question where her parents were or why she was dressed so differently than the Arendelle people? She eventually tells Kid Dad that she's Northoldra, so they both would have known about magic, which leads to a whole bunch of questions about why they failed to tell their future magical daughter Elsa about their personal experience with elemental magic, instead of isolating her to a room. Oh, do you mind? I've got a message for my sister. Sure, let's use the magical wind spirit as a mail carrier. Next thing you know, the spirits are going to be pissed off about union wages and benefits. I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. Make sure you click that bell icon. <clears throat> Sellouts. But clicking the little bell icon is how you make sure you get notified every time we release a video. So click it. <clears throat> Sellouts. Multi bus. Promise me we do this together, okay? Sticking together is what good waffles do. This forest is beautiful. This forest is old. Very old. It is eerie how this smear of redness is centered on this white tree line. There are white trees on this crimson ground. Oh, this is bad, Wendy. Hold on to me. And whoever has the control has the power. The dark sea is too dangerous for us both. No, no, we do this together. Remember the song? Seven chipmunks twirling on a branch, eating lots of sunflowers on my uncle's ranch. You know that old children's tale from the sea? <laughs> Happy birthday! They look like big, good, strong hands, don't they? <laughs>